Mad Money Lightning Round is brought to you by TD Ameritrade, where smart investors get smarter. It is time! It's time for the Lightning Round. Quick vote, Bob Brown, Frank, we'll swap to the Sun, Sun, Bob, Bob, Michael, the Sun, Bruce, the Sun, the Sun, the Sun, the and then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski Daddy? Time for the lightning round. Chris, we'll start with Gregory in California. Gregory. Hello, Jim. Welcome back from Italy, my friend. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Did you bring the Did you bring the green pass back uh, for all of us? Well, I got. I brought. Um, I, I don't know. I brought a brioni suit. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> so listen. Wouldn't it be great if we could know what diseases? we might be prone to or predisposed to. Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? You know, sure. Early in life, just by doing a simple test. Okay, it's not Facebook, but I think this company could well be the next one. Okay. I'm talking about 23andMe. You know, it's a, this stock's at eight bucks. I mean, honestly, I think it should be higher, especially if you want, listen, Glaxo's decline. Let's get them on the show. Something must be wrong for that stock to be at eight bucks. I want to go to Melinda in Kansas. Melinda. Hi, Jim. Thanks for taking my call. Okay. I love your show. Oh, you. make learning fun, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. So here's my question. Uh, several months ago, you introduced us to Appalachian Harvest, and I yeah. thought it was such a good idea. I bought some, but now they've fallen on hard times, and I wondered oh, what Melinda, your take Melinda, was. Melinda, Melinda, I've got to tell you, it's one of those stories that almost seems too good to be true. It's, it's Agritech which has got to be the future, right? It's got to be, but the future is not now. It's too early for that stock. I like the principles, though. Let's go to Samuel in Georgia. Samuel. Hey, Jim. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask you about a stock I bought early in the pandemic. I've made a great return, I want, and I like how they've bought new properties. I think Barry Stern liked as a genius. What are your thoughts on Starwood Property Trust? Take her well, I think Barry Sternlich is a genius. How about the fact he came in, came on, when the stock was in AT, and people worry about the dividend, and he came on and he said, it's safe, and it's a growth company, and he was right, and he's welcome on the show anytime he wants to be. Let's go to Colin in Pennsylvania. Colin. Hey, big Philly booyah to you, Jim. Go Bird. Oh, oh big Atlantic game. Going to be a beatdown for Chuck <laughs> Robbins. Let's hope he has a good time. What's I up? Know. Not much. So I bought this stock last year with, you know, with COVID and everything. The figure I'm calling about is Big Lots. What do you oh. think about their, uh, after their earnings? Colin, I told you, I mean, I, you know, Big Lots, they've been angry at me ever since I said that I didn't like all the, all the different, like, chips, you know, like uh, potato chips in the aisle when I was trying to buy stuff. But I got to tell you, I was right. Okay, let's go to John in Massachusetts. John. Booyah, Jim. Booyah. Hey, I'm considering buying a stack that's been out for a few weeks now. Um, but my concern is they have a lot of older high-time aircraft. Tell me, Jim, how will that affect their profitability as maintenance costs rise and new assets are needed at Wheels Up? I always thought the Wheels Up was more of a private club and it came public. But then again, you know what? I got to tell you, I was right. Uh, let's go to Sam in Kentucky. Sam. How's it going, Jim? What's going on, partner? They're calling about Smith & West. SWBI. Well, About you know, months ago it was an all-time high, and since then it's continued to keep dropping. Well, I think that people feel that there was, uh, you know, like these stocks trade on gun legislation. People think that there is going to be gun legislation, and they make it a focus to be able to buy guns, but it has not seemed to be a major focus of the Biden administration. So people are just saying, "Hey, business as usual," and that's not good enough to support the stock. Tom in Maine, hey Tom, in Maine, Tom. Hey Jim, welcome back. Thank you, Tom. Good to be back. I'm like Lloyd in uh, the Overlook. What's going on? Well, I got a question. I, I don't understand Rio Tinto. It's got a huge dividend and a small PE, and it keeps going down. Well, because this is one of those stocks that people think, uh, I got to tell you, people think this one is not going to have a good number next year. Remember, people feel like if you buy a stock this year and the number's going to go down next year, you got to sell it. I disagree with them. I like the stock, and I'm going with you with Rio. And that, ladies and gentlemen, the loser of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? 
Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.